Hey guys, Ivan here, and after a bit of a hiatus, if you guys follow my channel, you know that I've been competing. I did four freaking shows, and that one last show was one too many. Next time I compete, I'll do two shows max, and that's gonna be it. This was prolonged season for me, and it was really tiring, but now I'm back. I'm done competing for this year. I probably won't be competing next year. 2023 is the plan for now, but we'll see. Anyways, I'm back. I'm back finally, and we're gonna start start right now with the news the first thing i want to talk about was something that i was watching these days carefully and it is big Ramy with his most recent physique update in which he looks incredible now guys you remember last year big Ramy in the off season there was no trace of him he was the champ he was the reigning mr olympia though he didn't post any content whatsoever so it was pretty safe to assume that he wasn't looking that good. He probably took some time off. And it was apparently smart approach because he won the Mr. Olympia twice. I mean, he won it again this year. But now, for some reason, he stayed in a really good shape. Is it because he wants to do more guest posings? Or is it because he wants to compete earlier this year? I don't know if Arnold is gonna be in March this year like it used to be. Maybe he wants to do that, maybe another show, I don't know, maybe he wants to earn more money competing and winning shows. That is really not something we have seen from the previous uh, Mr. Olympias in the past, I don't know how many years. Once you win the Mr. Olympia, that's your primary focus, the big dance, everybody just focuses on that. Even the top 5 guys who are qualified for the Mr. Olympia, they usually don't do shows in between. Some of them do, most of them actually don't. If you are qualified for the Mr. Olympia, that's where you put all your efforts in. And I think that's what Big Ram is going to do, but I was curious. Why is he staying in such a good shape? Because right now, I don't think he went off the juice after the Mr. Olympia. I think he stayed on some stuff because he still has the fullness, the hardness, you know. I don't think he would look this good if he went off the stuff. So I think he gained some fat and he did a dehydration protocol for this guest posing here. Because here he looked dry. I don't think he looked watery. I think he looked very dry. He just gained some fat, a little tiny bit. Not enough to hide his very, very deep glute serrations. His glutes are looking really muscular. I mean, really dense, really thick. And the serrations are really deep. So he's still very lean, and he he probably hydrated himself a little bit for this for this guest posing because he looks almost in a competition shape for his standards. So for some reason, Big Ramy is staying in a great shape. Hell, maybe he was in a great shape last year too. He just didn't want to show himself. I don't know. Maybe he's that kind of a guy who just stays in shape all the time. I'm not sure. But he didn't show anything last year, so I was just assuming that he didn't look that good, this good. So I don't know what is the case, uh, it just made me feel curious about his future plans. Is he gonna compete before the Mr. Olympia? Is he gonna do more guest posings? Is he gonna be more active on social media? I don't know, but what I know is that his shape right now, in the off season. A little bit over a month after Mr. Olympia, he looks great. He looks great. He looks lean. He looks hard. He looks full. He looks awesome. What about Hari Chupan's most recent physique update? Hari Chupan did a really good at the Mr. Olympia uh, 2021, and a lot of people actually had him winning that show. A lot of people felt like he deserved that victory. He won the People's Champion Award this year, and this is the second time he wins it in a row. So a lot of people, a lot of fans of bodybuilding have this guy as their favorite bodybuilder right now. One of the reasons why I can see that is because of his phenomenal, phenomenal abdominal control. He can control those abs, contract them, do a vacuum, do whatever he wants with them, and they look so aesthetic, so developed. It's just a really good midsection. That's something that you don't really see very often in open bodybuilding. Now, is Hadid really an open bodybuilder or a 212 bodybuilder, rather? Look, so, watching this video, for example, he looks great, he looks shredded, he looks in a really good shape, better shape than Big Ramy, and uh, look at uh, the abdominal control that I was talking about, so he can do whatever he wants with his stomach, and it all looks good, and he can do a lot of things with it, but on the stage, standing next to the big guys, especially standing next to Big Ramy, 
he just looks a little bit smaller. Because he is a former 212 competitor, it's not just the height, he's about the same height as, as Nick Walker. It's about actually the size, the fullness. So if he gained a couple of more pounds and he came a little bit less conditioned, yes, less conditioned, I think conditioning is hurting him. And I think he is aware of that. I think he made us uh, aware of him being aware of it. He told us that he is going to try to go with the fullness next year instead of conditioning because conditioning isn't that appreciated in open bodybuilding, not as much as it is in other divisions. So yeah, it's very important for sure, but the bigger guy is always going to win because this is open bodybuilding. Now, Big Ramy was not in a good shape like Hari. He was in a good shape for his standards, but he wasn't as straight as Hari. But Hari wasn't as big as Ramy, and size wins in open bodybuilding. So even though Hari has great stomach, on the other hand, as far as aesthetics, his delts are suspicious. A lot of people actually think that he has a lot of oil in the delts and some in his arms. And also his arms are not that big. And also from the back, it's not really that good. I mean, it's 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 fine, it's good, but it's not that good. So I definitely think he deserved that third spot. I don't think he should have been second or first. But I can see how he can improve his placement. He needs to come bigger, bigger and fuller, and that's it. Right now he's in a great shape, his conditioning is looking awesome, but maybe that's the mistake. Maybe he shouldn't be this lean in the offseason, maybe he should just try to eat more, get a little bit chubby and grow and come bigger and fuller next year and maybe potentially improve his placement as well. During my hiatus from YouTube, a lot of things happened and I wanted to touch on some things, not all of them, this is news channel, this is not news right here, but I wanted to touch on this a little bit. So this was really hard to, to digest, to, to hear. Uh, first, we had a death of George Peterson and then also Sean Roden, both young guys. Uh, Sean was 46, George was, I think, like not even 40. So these guys, I mean, this was not, this was so unexpected. And now I heard actually from Guy Sister Nina on Fuad's podcast that Sean had a minor heart attack last year. So if that was the cause of that this year, then it was, I guess, expected in a way. And why, why did George die? I don't know, but it's not really the point here. The point is, this is sad, guys. And also we had a death of John Meadows this year. This year was not a good year for bodybuilding in that sense. A lot of great bodybuilders died. And uh, I don't know, I mean, is it just a coincidence? Or is it the fact that they are abusing uh, gear and stuff? Because a lot of people are speculating the reasons behind all this. It's really not relevant. I mean, people are dying all the time for uh, all kinds of reasons, unexpected reasons. So maybe it's just something that's not related to gear and, and bodybuilding and everything like that. I mean, I'm not here to discuss the reasons of their deaths. I wanted to just say, rest in peace, George Peterson, rest in peace, Sean Roden. And the most recent one was another all-timer from the 90s, one of the bodybuilders that competed against, uh, that didn't really compete very often or at all, who could have been the Mr. Olympia, as some people are speculating, who was really big, probably bigger than Dorian Yates at that time, but decided not to compete. It was Victor Richards. And uh, the news told us that he died. But then there is a new, new information that he's actually, well, this is really confusing and it's not something that should be happening. I don't think news outlets should be releasing this kind of information before they check and make sure. Because this is what the Bison Tries page uh, posted now. Uh, it is a quote from Victor Richards' daughter. Uh, she says, uh, I'm pleased to assure you that my father is in fact alive and well. An inaccurate Facebook post that caused a wildfire of uh, false information throughout social media and news outlets. So apparently his daughter is saying this. Does this mean that uh, Victor is like in hospital and he can't write? She's writing instead of him and somebody uh, leaked the information that he died but he's struggling for, for life or something like that. I have no idea. I'm just assuming here I should not be doing that. I don't know. I don't know what is the case with Victor Richards, but apparently, based on his daughter, he is not dead. Now, you tell me, is he dead or he's not dead? I don't know. I don't know how this information got 
uh, got out there, but it is what it is. Now we have uh, something, you know, from his daughter who is saying that he's alive and well. I hope he is alive and well. Let's just wait a few more days and see what information comes out. Is he alive or not? I don't want to assume anything and pass any kind of judgment like Sean Ray did after Sean Roden passed. So he said some things that weren't exactly true. And it triggered a lot of people, a lot of people who were close friends with Sean Roden. So Sean Ray was assuming some things. For example, he said that the reason why Sean Roden had a heart attack is because he was obese and he wasn't uh, on, a, on a healthy diet in the offseason. First of all, we don't even know why, what was the cause of that. And second of all, he doesn't know Sean Roden that well to know what his uh, daily habits were. Also, he added that Sean Roden had a problem with recreationals, which is apparently not true based on uh, Guy Cisternino, who said it. Sean never did anything like that. Uh, these guys were close friends. And actually, uh, Guy added that uh, Sean had a minor heart attack last year. Nobody knew about that. But anyways, uh, Dave Palombo ended up deleting the interview with Sean, uh, with Sean Ray, so you can't even watch it. I can't even show it to you. But it caused a lot of backlash. I mean, Sean Ray, nobody likes him anymore. I mean, everybody's hating on this guy. Nobody wants to see him comment on bodybuilding shows. Uh, he always has a lot of negative things to say. Even after people die, he shows no respect. And uh, a lot, a lot of people are hating on him right now, especially... Uh, the, the, the interview was even deleted, it was so disrespectful, so it is what it is, and uh, you guys tell me, what do you think about Sean Ray, do you like the guy, do you think he did a little bit too much with this interview, whatever your thoughts are, tell me in the comment section down below, tell me what do you think about Sean Ray and his overall approach, do you like the fact that he's brutally honest, or do you think he's doing a little bit too much for the sake of the views, to stay relevant, He's adding stuff that he's not even sure about. Whatever your thoughts are, guys, tell me in the comment section down below. Uh, I want to say sorry for my voice being a little bit nasal. I think I have a cold or something. I don't know what it is, but uh, I do have some uh, throat ache. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I'll be here. I'll be posting videos every day from now on. I'm back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And for more videos, subscribe to this channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.